I'm Aaron Goldfarb, Syracuse 2001 New House graduate, TRF. And you are what? What is your position now, Aaron? My position is author. All right. Tell us a little bit about your book. What did you write? Uh, I'm the uh, author of uh, How to Fail, the self, Self-Hurt Guide, the world's first self-hurt guide, the opposite of a self-help guide. It's a satirical novel about success and failure in America. So when you were sitting in the hallowed howls of Newhouse back in 2099, did you see yourself becoming an author? Like, what was your goal? Well, I saw myself being a writer, but uh, I saw myself being a screenwriter. And for the first years out of college, I was trying to be a screenwriter, but yeah, I didn't really succeed at being a screenwriter, so I thought, well, let's give uh, writing prose a go, and apparently I'm a better novelist than I was a screenwriter. What's it been like for you? I mean, you walk into Barnes & Noble, there are, not to exaggerate, nine gazillion books out there. How has it been, you know, trying to get your book on the shelves, trying to get it sold? Well, it, it's tough, you know, to, to get through all the, uh, you know, Steve Larson books and Stephen King books. Why would anyone buy my book? So you got to do a lot of, you know, press and PR and promotion and interviews and you got to get your message out there and make people want to buy your book. And it's, it's a slow trickle, word of mouth, but it eventually starts happening. Now we are in the center of the universe, I like to call it Grand Central Terminal. Why pick New York City as, as your place to be? I mean, you could have gone to LA, you could be in Chicago. Why New York for you as an author? I mean, ever since I was a kid, I wanted to come back to Manhattan. I was born in Manhattan, but I didn't grow up here. So ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be back here. So there really was no choice after college. And and once I was there after college, I fell in love with it. I, I hate to drive, so I love to take the subway. Um, I like to drink a little late, and you can do that here. There's countless cuisines, the best arts in the country. It's, it's the perfect city for me. Now, it's kind of ironic. Your book is called How to Fail, but it's the way you're hoping to succeed, to right? make an income, to make a life right, for right, yourself. Right, 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 exactly. Um, the book is called How to Fail, but it could easily be called How to Succeed. It's, uh, it's really, uh, you know, a sweet book, people even say, about, you know, all the troubles we go through in life and how we have to fail at things, love, you know, jobs, relationships, to eventually figure out how to succeed at those things. Now, where do you see yourself going from here? I know you're, you know, got a lot of ideas, you're going in every which way, lots of directions, but, you know, what do you see for Aaron Goldfarb 10 years down the road? Well, the, the funny thing is, uh, uh, the book's actually thrusting me back into the film business through the back door because it's most likely going to be adapted into a movie that will hopefully be out soon. Um, but I see myself as a guy who writes books every year or two. I'm gonna, I hope when I'm an old man, you know, I can look at the shelf and there's 50 books there, although they'd probably be e-books by then, so there might be 50 <laughs> books on your Kindle I wrote. But uh, that's, that's my dream now, I think. What do you say to those students who now in 2011 are sitting in Newhouse and, you know, looking for a little advice? They hear the economy stinks, you're not going to get work, you know, what do you, what do you say to them? Well, the biggest risk right now is to be non-risky, to try to have, you know, the lame job that you don't really want. It's less of a risk to sit down and write a novel, because fewer people do that than people who are just submitting a lame resume to a cubicle job they don't really want. So it's... It's oddly enough less risky to be risky nowadays. It's a great time now for people in arts and entertainment to go after their dreams. I love that. Aaron Goldfarb, class of 2001. Thanks so much, Aaron. Thank you.